so excited to get out of town that I forgot to eat anything. So I just stopped at the rest stop. Had a little peanut butter and banana. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Today, we are off to a really great little spot. Awesome for paddle boarding. It's called Tatchin Lake. And uh, it's 26 degrees out, so that's awesome. The uh, turnoff to Tatchin Lake is about 28 kilometers north of Carmax on the North Klondike Highway, and the campground is about 7 kilometers from the highway. The road in off the highway is a little on the narrow side. You'd have to be careful if you came to oncoming traffic and it is gravel, a little washboardy in some spots, but in pretty good condition overall. I don't know if it's just me that didn't discover this place for the longest time or if it's sort of like a undiscovered secret and I don't want to let the cat out of the bag here, but I mean, I really think this is a pretty awesome spot. Cannot wait to show it to you. I would say Tatchin Lake is on the smaller side of Yukon Lake, so it's perfect for like small boats, paddle boards, canoes, that sort of thing. And here we are pulling into the campground. Like it just boggles my mind that there's no one here in the middle of summer. It's crazy. A few other groups would eventually show up, but we got first choice at campsites. I think there were five total, including us in the end, out of 20 sites. So lots of room for everyone and nobody is in each other's face, which is what I love the best about this campground. All the sites are nicely spaced out. If you are unfamiliar with Yukon government campgrounds, they are pretty standard. They come with a picnic table, a fire pit, free wood that you have to go collect at wood boxes. Last people left us some wood. Thank you. I just love this little forest. It's like a little fairyland. The bathroom facilities consist of outhouses. Down at the lake, there is a dock for tying your boat up to or for fishing and swimming. There's also a communal cook shelter. Who's that? Somebody's thirsty. John, Matt and I were reminiscing about our first trip here and uh, my inspiration to get a paddleboard after visiting this spot. I remember that it was after this trip that I was like, I need a paddleboard because this lake would be perfect for paddleboarding in. Butterflies must be on an upswing this year because they were everywhere. I believe these ones, I had to look it up, are called Canadian Tiger Swallowtails. Let me know if that's right or not. So we are at site eight. Close to the lake, close to the outhouses. In a couple weeks, it'll be 10 bucks a night. Right, 20 bucks? Yeah, 20 bucks. Even without a season's pass, these campgrounds are a steal of a deal at 20 bucks a night. We traveled across Canada and provincial campgrounds were anywhere from like $35 to $70 a night and most of them were pretty packed. I mean, yes, I get it. It's about supply and demand, but I consider ourselves to be pretty lucky here. I'm pretty stoked because I recently bought a 12 volt pump for my paddle board that I can just plug into the cigarette lighter of my van and this is my first time putting it in action. Okay. The trail that leaves from our campsite so we're gonna go check this out see where it goes puffing and puffing
Well, this is nice. You want to try this uh, rose petal trick? Grab, grab a petal, chew it up into a little pulp, and then put it on your bug bite. I'm gonna put some on my feet, actually. They're kind of itchy. Let's go walk. Let's go. <laughs> hey, Stan. I didn't realize this lake was so big. we are bushwhacking in my flip-flops and bare legs that are getting scratched up. Almost out. Mm. Ah. Made it. Bear country, you know what that means. Always take your bear spray. So here's a philosophical question for you. If a van lifer flies a drone in the forest, does that make them a YouTuber? Can you have YouTube videos without a drone? I don't know. Anyways, I bought this cheapo at Costco for 90 bucks a little while ago. Thought I better get used to flying it before I invest any real money. As you can see, I'm still pretty rusty. See Stanley curled up at my feet? He's not too sure about it. In any case, you gotta start somewhere. After several crashes, it was time to have some dinner and then get out on the lake. Our camp meals vary quite considerably. Tonight it was crackers and cheese, leftover grilled chicken which we heated up on the campfire, sliced tomatoes, dolmades, and tzatziki. You want to go for a ride? Yes, we're going to go for a ride. We're going to go for a ride. Stanley. Stanley. Are we living our paddle boarding dreams? Hey. Thank you. 
Stanley has loved the paddleboard ever since I first got it, and he always is keen to hop right on and go for a cruise. I usually have a kayaking paddle, because as you can tell, I'm not much of a stand-up paddler. I'm more of a sit-down and relax paddler, so the kayak paddle works really well. I also forgot my life jacket, but don't worry, I wasn't too far from shore, and I was confident that I could swim if I needed to. So while cruising along the shore, I kind of became obsessed with these like lily pads and lilies that were growing up out of the muck on the bottom of the lake. And I assumed that my phone was waterproof, so I was trying to take lots of footage. When I got back and I, from this trip and I told a few people about it, they were all like, what are you talking about? Your phone isn't waterproof. So the jury's still a little bit out. I think they're water resistant but I wouldn't recommend doing this necessarily with your iPhone. Um, if you have any thoughts or experience on this, feel free to weigh in in the comments. Stanley, Stan, you okay? You okay if I pull ya? This little prince here was very upset that I got him off the paddleboard when I was very close to shore, thinking he could walk along the shore. I was walking because the wind picked up and I couldn't get back. Plus, I saw these lily pads that I wanted to film underwater. And uh, Stanley here got quite upset. So he's back on the pot paddleboard and I'm pulling him back to shore. The poor thing. You okay, Stanley? You okay? Oh, no. Now he's turning his head. He's annoyed at me. <laughs> the little prince. But these uh, lily pads are so cool to see how they grow out of the muck. I love that my um, camera can go underwater. In any case, the wind seems to have died down. I don't recall ever seeing these flowers before. Any ideas what they're called? This little unwelcome critter was stuck on the bottom of my paddleboard when I flipped it over to rinse it off. Ew. Whatever it was, it didn't deter us from playing in the water a little bit longer. You ready? Come here. Come here. The stick sunk. It was too waterlogged. Ha ha, Stanley. Joke's on you.
Have I mentioned how much I love my skylight? I can wake up and look at the trees and the sky and let the fresh air in. It's beautiful. This is what it's all about. Summer short, folks. Get outside. One take Tara.